Hey everybody, this is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here with a new video here. Um, I haven't been trading um, at all for the past month or so, uh, mainly because of my day job, my part-time job sort of turned into a full-time job and I can't seem to break away from it. And no complaints, it is my job and does provide um, really well for my family, but I just thought I should make a video today and sort of help answer why Day trading is so difficult, so hard. Why day traders, the majority of day traders anyways, um, do not make money. And in my opinion, it's because of the indicators themselves. They're a great tool to have, don't get me wrong. But by pure definition, all of these indicators are lagging indicators. Um, I can't think of one indicator that is not lagging other than price movement itself. But um, in a nutshell, these indicators, um, there's formulas behind them. And these formulas um, all need data, and the data comes from price performance past um, the, the history, essentially. And they're all lagging. They never will tell you what the future will hold, you know, whether the, uh, op or whether the price of SPY or any other stock or ETF is going to move higher or lower. It's all going to give you sort of uh, where, you know, where it has been in the past. So, and also with that being said, the majority of these indicators are range bound. What that means is I have the uh, full stow uh, up on uh, SPY. This is a five minute chart here. What that means is it will always stay between a value of zero and a value of a hundred can never go up above 100 and can never go below zero. And that in itself is so dangerous. Why? Because the majority of day traders, the majority of traders uh, think that just because an indicator is showing a quote unquote oversold area or overbought area, it means that it's ready to, uh, to move uh, in the opposite direction. So people jump in hoping to see the price reverse and in this instance, it never really does. Um, clearly, obviously, in hindsight, clearly, the price, the direction uh, where you would have made uh, your money is to the upside. But even, uh, you know, even here in the open, down, and then all, you know, you get up, up above uh, here in, in the indicator, you get above uh, this uh, 80 uh, line here, which shows, uh, it's telling you it's an overbought situation. But look what the option, what the option, I keep saying option, I'm so sorry, but look at what the price actually does. It moves higher and higher and higher and higher. And even whenever it peaks off, sure, it moves a little bit lower. And if you would have gotten at the exact high, you would have made um, some decent profits here. But for the most part, after this move, price stays completely flat. There's no money to be made there. And the indicator is going up down, up, down, up, down. And that is essentially the sort of the issue here. And again, even if, uh, if it moved up like it did here in the morning and you wait for the indicator to come back down a little bit, you get in. Sure, if you're a day trader, you could have made um, an okay profit here. Don't know how much, but the price just stays flat. It's not telling you, hey, it's ready to move much higher. You know, maybe if it moved higher, you know, past this high here, maybe. But I've seen many times where um, it gets past it, it makes a little bit of higher high, and then it just completely, you know, falls apart. So in a nutshell, that's essentially why day trading is so hard. We're using lagging indicators. Again, I don't have a solution for you. I'm just helping you uh, understand why day trading is so hard. Lagging indicators and range band indicators don't necessarily tell you what the future holds. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, uh, this video here. Comment down below what you thought about this video and uh, if you have any thoughts, um, if you, you know, have any solutions. I'm trying to sort of just get together with certain people and uh, talk stocks, talk trading. Uh, it makes for interesting conversations and maybe we can learn from one another. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed below. And I promise to try to 
uh, stay up and with my videos and make more consistent videos in the future. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.